Good morning, Kay. Well, it's 7 o'clock this morning, uh, Israeli time, so about 5 a.m. your time. Uh, Israeli forces acting on what I'm told by senior um, military commanders uh, was precise intelligence, to use their words, uh, went uh, into the old city of Nablus, uh, into the Kasbah area, and they surrounded a house which contained the two wanted terrorists uh, and one of their assistants as well. Uh, a gunfight ensued and they shot the three men dead. The whole operation lasted for around an hour, and they've confirmed that two of those killed were indeed uh, the two terrorists who shot dead uh, Lucy Meyer and Rena D, the British Israelis who were travelling through um, the West Bank up to a holiday in Lake Galilee last month. Well, uh, I've spoken to Rabbi Leo D, uh, the husband of Lucy uh, and the father of Meyer and Rena. He's told me this morning that uh, he and his children are delighted to hear that the terrorists were apprehended and eliminated. Uh, and most of all, that it was done in a way that didn't endanger the lives of Israeli soldiers. Uh, I also interviewed him exclusively last month, and he said in it that, uh, quite extraordinarily, um, he didn't hold any hatred uh, towards the men who had killed his family members. Uh, but this morning he also uh, told me that he would, if he ever had the opportunity, uh, like to uh, ask the family members of those terrorists uh, what it was all uh, in aid of uh, and what they hoped to achieve and how there could ever be peace uh, when their um, family members act like that. So uh, a major development this morning in what was an ongoing manhunt. The Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has just released a statement as well uh, congratulating the Israeli security forces, uh, but uh, another uh, incident uh, in the West Bank, in the old city of Nablus, uh, three gunmen dead, Palestinian gunmen dead, uh, two of those, as I say, the wanted terrorists who shot dead uh, those three British Israelis last month.